Hey everyone, Zef here and welcome to Wings 9041 Overview. This might be a fast overview because there's not much going on it seems, so watch it being half an hour like. There were some games that had trash trailers and it seemed so boring at first, but then it actually turns out it's so much fun in VR. Your opinion can swing either way up until you won't try it yourself. So Wings 1941 is a voxel shooter simulator game where you fly through the most iconic battles of World War II and shoot yourself to victory, well, inevitable, because the war finished. Long story short, it's a bullet hell, so it's gonna be good for quests because it works here. It's also in voxel art style, which to me is very much underrated because of the performance cap and stuff like that. It's very easy to put so many mechanics and features that the gameplays feel much more complex than most what's the store offering. Bullet hells might not be for me, but I can appreciate the concept. Wings seem to be just a clear definition of an arcade game with different planes, upgrades. It also offers a co-op mode, which is very interesting. I don't think I've seen a project of that genre offering a play mode with someone else, though I'm pretty sure it's gonna be just through the friend system and not having an actual matchmaking. If it's gonna have a latter then, that could be very fun to try out. Personally games for that I just play a couple minutes and drop them out, but that's just purely my gaming preferences. It's just fun to see more voxel stuff on the official store since we don't have enough of them and they definitely have a place here. Let's go to the gameplay! But I've not seen the simpler settings ever, it's just sitting or standing. <laughs> I think it's just gonna be smart to jump right into the multiplayer. That's interesting campaign wise, you... Oh wow. You play all the levels at once, which is kinda like a standard tactic for the bullet house. And you can replay a single level from what you've passed already. Fun. Hopefully someone's playing. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. That's what you get for releasing 4 games in one day. Well, campaign it is. No voiceover. <laughs> it's a mission to destroy the tiger tank. <laughs> I'm so weirded out because I thought tigers were like a core part of the World War II. Every scenario that I've played, it seemed like there was just only one in the whole world. We can do the upgrade, stuff like that. The music has to calm down because there's no settings for it. I have 50 coins. Yeah, I'll try the rockets, whatever that means. Let's just go. <laughs> yeah, I still need to fix the audio levels. It's... It's like crazy high. El Alamein. Okay. We shoot stuff all across the battlefield. What's this? Okay. Do I have to pass actually? Well, I guess maybe for the score. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> for bullet holes I need to have a good room skill setup, which I don't have. Maybe that's why I'm not playing those. Oh wait, <laughs> my plane does not turn in my hand. It's just going straight. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm shooting from my ass. What the hell? <laughs> Tornado? What? <laughs> Get out! I'm aiming in the center, but have shots on the side. I mean, it's... I mean, the upgrade kinda suck ass in that regard. I think it would be smarter to have, like, an indicator that I got hit. Somehow I'm half HP, but I didn't even notice. Maybe some kind of vibrations in the controller. I'm taking damage. Oh wow. 
That's a little bit too close. Let me focus. I have to like shoot on the side now. Ugh, the acrobatics. Would it not be funny if I have an HP of the plane and my head? <laughs> like I'm catching every bullet ever. Halfway. Hmm, I don't know if I'll make it. the fifth one <laughs> maybe we'll be fine all oh, right rockets how to okay a I'll save it for the boss, if I'll make it. I like that I can just... ...suck in the upgrades. I don't need to fly for them. We're fine. Hello? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Here we go. Now it's gonna be more comfortable. <laughs> Okay, me. <laughs> There's a lot of bullets flying around. I guess I'm entering the boss fight with no HP. That's fine. Okay. Should suffice. What the? Where are you? <laughs> I guess he will be just passing by. No. I'm gonna make it. I need to predict his movement. No. Please don't reset the level. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm all good. Wait. Where is my HP? <laughs> I don't know if it's bugged out or something. I clearly died, but I resetted the level. 
I don't know. Prediction. I. <laughs> The music is pumping though. Got him. <laughs> well, I'm not the worst. So that's good. We'll stop here though, it's pretty fun I guess. Not for me, it's an essential bullet hell gameplay. There are some things to polish out, like the plane not turning is very weird to me. And some other minor stuff like audio settings. Overall things that you can easily fix along the way with patches. I guess it's fine, it's hard to have, it's like, you know, the best bullet hell ever. I feel like Yuki was very high in quality in terms of just graphics, the design. This is cute in voxel style. I don't have much else to say honestly, it's just not for me. <laughs> Which is all fine. So congrats on being here.